up guys? We are excited to bring you another workout today. Going into the holidays, so we are all holidayed up, ready to go. Hey, we wanna just give a huge shout out to Upland Unified School District, our student athletes and students that watch these videos. Um, we're bringing them to you for our PE class and anyone else who is interested in getting fit. So thank you also our students at Foothill Knowles. Huge shout out to you guys who help come up with the content that we bring to you in these videos. So without further ado, let's get into the next workout. All right, good morning. We're here, we're starting with a warm up for our workout. And Mr. Stuff here, Mr. Hicks. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our right leg flamingo. So pull that right leg up, keep those shoulders nice and tall. Okay, pull the leg up as high as you can. And we're holding for about 10 seconds. And switch. <clears throat> Got a fun workout planned for today. And we're excited to bring it to you from Upland High School. All right, let's go ahead. White stance, coming down, keeping the legs straight. And you're gonna come down okay, to where you feel a good stretch. The back of your legs, if you can hit the ground, that's perfect. If it's too much, you can't hit the ground, okay, come down to your knees or your shins. As long as you feel a good stretch, that's perfect. If it's stretching too much, it's gonna be a little painful. We don't want that. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll come down to the ground. Right leg out, left leg in. Again, going for the toes if you can. If you're uh, not quite as flexible, you can grab the, the knee, grab your shin, ankle, or your toes. Either, either of those work. Um, the key to, again, is that you're feeling a good stretch in the back of your leg. And switch. Same thing on the other side. Perfect. All right, let's go. Both legs out. Okay, I'm not as flexible on these, so I'm gonna go back to my lower shin. That's where I start to feel a real good stretch. Keeping those feet together, knees are locked, back of the knee, as close to the ground as possible. All right, now go ahead and uh, bring those bottom of your feet together for a little butterfly stretch, okay? <clears throat> Put your elbows into your inside of the knees and push down just a little bit. Again, nothing that's uncomfortable, just enough to feel up the stretch. Let's go ahead and we'll do some arm circles. Yep. Nice small ones, big ones. We're just warming those shoulders up. We get a little bit of shoulder work in today's workout, so we want to make sure we got some blood flow to the shoulders. We're ready to move. All right, backwards. It's always important to do a little stretching before your workout. Get the blood flowing. Get your heart rate up a little bit. Get your body and mind ready. All right, let's go right arm across. We want that arm to be straight across the body. All right, perpendicular to your torso. And switch. Stand up, back on our feet. Then we go a uh, uh, little bit of jogging in place. And we're just about ready to go. So let's go ahead and start that jogging in place. We'll go about 30 seconds. Okay, nice, smooth pace here. Just enough, again, getting the heart rate up just a little bit, making us breathe just a little harder. Reminding our body that it's almost time for a workout. In about 10 seconds.
three, two, one. All right, up next, we're starting that workout. I hope you're ready. All right, you guys, we're back with another demonstration for the workouts we have today. Uh, the four that we have are hot backs, knee ups, alternating dog pose, and elevated push ups. So, to get started, we have the hot backs. So, what you're going to do is you're going to stand in sort of a leveled feet position, and you want to take one big hop forward, and you want to take three big steps back in a squatting position. One, two, three. Then you're gonna set back up in another like squat position to take another big jump. Again, three steps back, and then you're gonna set up again, you're just gonna repeat that, okay? Next workout we have, they're called knee ups. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna be starting uh, in the position on your knees, okay? So you're gonna be on your knees, and what you're going to do is, you wanna come up left foot first, right leg after, but you're gonna stay in a squatting position when you come up. Okay, so you're gonna do left leg first, right leg up after, squatting position, and then you're gonna go right back down to the knee. Okay, and you're gonna alternate that, left leg, left leg up, right leg after, and then if you wanna challenge yourself, you can go left leg up, right leg up, go back down, and then right leg up, and then left leg, so you just alternate back and forth. Next workout we have is the alternating dog pose. So how that's gonna look is you're gonna be down on all fours, and this is gonna be a little brain twister. So you wanna take your right hand and your left leg, and you want to extend them as far as you can, and you wanna get as straight as you can. You're gonna hold it for about two seconds, come back in, and then you're gonna switch to your left hand and then your right leg. And you're just gonna keep alternating you want to get a nice squeeze, this is going to work your glutes and your core at the same time because you need to keep your balance. So the last workout we have is going to be elevated push-ups. So it's going to be sort of like a normal push-up except your arms and the upper part of your body is going to be leaning on something. So you're at a, a, a short slant. You want to lean on maybe a chair, your bed, a desk, a dresser, a table. Okay, so whatever you have handy around the house. All right, so what it's going to look like is we have platforms here. Hands are gonna go on the platform, leg pushed out behind you, back is straight, and you're just gonna go down for a normal push-up, okay? So this is gonna work more the upper body, uh, your back, put your hands a little closer, it's gonna work your triceps, put your hands a little wider, it's gonna work more of your chest, so it just depends on how you put your hands. Those are our four workouts for today. Let's get started. All right, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, go! Up and back, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, key here, we're staying low, shoulders over those hips, back, back, nice wide stance, reset, jump forward, 10 seconds, keep burn, five, four, three, two, one, rest, we have 15 seconds rest. We're going right to the next one is our knee ups is legs. We're going leg to leg, back to back. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, up, back down. I'm going to switch and lead. Lead with my right, then lead with my left. The key here is we're not going any higher than the shoulder level. So we're holding that squat position when we come up. When it burns. It burns. <laughs> There's no joke. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Oh my goodness. Oh, no. That was oh, rough. That was rough. 10 seconds, here we go. It is a quick pace workout today. We are in the alternating dog pose. Ready, set. Go, alternating, left arm, right leg, back down. Keep your back straight. Bring your foot up as high as you can, bring your hand up as high as you can. Don't just throw, control it. Control, 15 seconds. Five, 
four, three, two, one, rest. Next thing, we have our elevated push up. Find something that you can lean on. Bed, dresser, chair. Hey, you want to do normal push ups, you can feel free. Three, two, one, go. We got 30 seconds. Get as low as you can, depending on how elevated you are. You may want. You may want to come just a little bit down, okay? If you're a little more on a higher incline, you can come all the way so your chest hits the dresser or the chair, inside the bed, whatever you're using to get full range of motion. Three, two, one, rest. Ooh, that was round one. You are moving. Round one, done. Round two coming up. We're back to our hot backs. Here we go, five seconds, four, three, two, one, jump, and back. Three steps back. If you don't have a lot of room, you might just be able to do two. If you got a little bit more room, go four. It's just a little harder if you go four. 10 seconds. Yeah. 
I like to start with the leg I ended on. So I end here with my left. Start with my left. Ooh, I'm starting to come up a little too high. Stay low. Here we go. Oh, this one burns. Yeah, this is rough. Three, two, one. Oh. oh. Two more exercises. Let's try with our alternating dog pose. Ready, set, go. Up, squeeze, back down. Fifteen seconds left. Almost done. Almost done. Step back straight. Four, three, two, one. Bam. Last exercise. Last one. This is it. This is it. Push ups. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> this is it! Let's go! Don't give up! Keep going! Ten! Oh, not the map! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. oh! Man, I tried to keep up with you on that last one. That was rough. Oh! I hope you guys are as tired of sweating as we are. Make sure when you do this, you wear your Santa hat. Because it's Christmas time. <laughs> it's the holidays. We're getting in the holiday spirit. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys. Hey, stick around. We have our cool down next. Very important part of the workout. Thanks for joining. Exercise the floor. You want to try to grab your ankles or your shins. Get a nice stretch. Hold this for about five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so with us being up, uh, we're gonna do a right leg flamingo. So what you're gonna do is just hold the right foot, get a nice stretch in your quad. You're gonna feel not a pinch or not a tear, just a nice little, uh, nice little stretch. Holding this one for about three, two, one. We're gonna switch over to our left leg. Same exact thing. Holding this one for about five, four, three, two, one. All right, so after that, we're gonna have a seat. This one, butterfly stretch. So you're gonna bring both of your soles together. You wanna hug your feet, press your knees down with your elbows. Feel a nice little stretch in your pelvic area, lower back. Holding this one for about four, three, two, one. Legs straight out, arms straight out. We're gonna do arm circle forward. We wanna go about 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Backwards, same exact thing. Make sure you're getting a nice full rotation, circular motion. Not too fast, not too slow. Three, two, one. That is it.